try to share with everyone here in the four minutes that I have is the four main things that we have learned while making our hybrid app. And hybrid apps, which is kind of a newest term, are mobile apps that have both native and HTML components mixed together. I work at 20, which is a social network in Madrid, and we have quite a few users. We have about 5 million unique users every week. And of those 5 million users we get a week, 2 million of them only use mobile to access 20. So since 2011 or so, we've been investing on native apps, and we were on the other side of the spectrum. Our apps were completely native, right? But we were seeing that our development cycle was turning really slow, and we have apps for Windows, iPhone, Blackberry, and Android. And in order to improve the development cycle, and since we had lots of in-house expertise about web, we thought we would include like web components in the app. And we move, we have a significant part that is web, and we are more or less there on the spectrum. The important thing is that we offer web functionality to our paying customers, because 20 is not only a social network, but it's also a telco operator, and we have 200,000 people that pay us to be their telco, and that functionality is all web-based in the mobile app. And while doing this, we have found out that we had a mobile website and done mobile web development, but there are significant differences between the mobile web and what is the web inside the hybrid apps. The first one is that actually in the web, you, everything is remote, but if you have an app, your web views can be remote, they can be hosted on your server, but you can pack assets locally with the app, which means that, sorry, that you could pack local JavaScript, which has big performance implications, and have part of it, your framework is local, and the rest of your JavaScript is remote. And this is very easy to do in Android and iOS. It's very, very easy in Android 4 and kind of harder on Android 2.3, but it's easy to mix and match assets. And you can do it not only for JavaScript, you could do it for any static file that you want. The second, and maybe obvious, because everyone has heard about PhoneGap, is that you can use native functionality from a web view, right? Even if your web view is remote, it doesn't have to be local to the application, which is a common misunderstanding that you have to have them pack with the application, but no, they can be anywhere. And the version of PhoneGap that is work for us is the 2.6, and it's a, you can have a web view and open the camera of the device, but not only that, it's also easy to communicate with the native side of your application. Like say this is a page of the telco and Javier just called and you're gonna go to his profile on the social network, you can define a protocol and that will open, that page will render with that link and it will open the native side of your application. And that is very easily done, works out of the box in, Android and iOS very well. Next one is like sessions. You cannot manage them. I mean, you can manage them with cookies, but those three or ones that we do on the web to renew session no longer work so well because the paradigm has changed. Normally, you have some background process that is renewing session. So you have to make your web view play well with that process. And the last one and hardest one is the offline case because the web is really, although we have app cache, but as if everyone has, probably everyone has tried out here, it has some issues. It's also not a cache of data, but of resources. Local storage is a cache of data, but it only has key value pairs. It doesn't have a TTL. So the offline case is much better managed in native apps than it is on the web. That is kind of the homework for us developers, how to manage the offline case. And the last one is that it's very worth it. We did we did fasten our development cycles significantly, and we have to devote quite a bit of time to Android 2.3, but iOS, especially iOS 7, is very well suited to do this mix of native and web components. And Android, the latest version, even better, because like the Chrome web view is Chrome. The web view is Chrome. It's no longer the Android native browser. So I would encourage everyone here to give it a try. And I think this is all I have. Thank you.